Today, the dessert's on me. My favorite recipe for French beignet, perfumed with some orange and lemon zest, and rolled in cinnamon sugar. They're served with a side of creamy gelato, topped with a spiced warm chocolate sauce. Don't think about the calories. To make this recipe, we need to make a very basic French preparation, pâte à choux, or a choux pastry. Here we have a pan with some boiling water. To that boiling water, if you could do this, Josiah, for me, yeah. we need to add some butter. And here we have a grated rind of one orange and a grated rind of one lemon. This is something extra. That just helps us give a little extra perfume. And once it's boiling, we're gonna add the flour. Once you add the flour, you need to stir it vigorously. You need to cook it out well, because the more moisture you get out of this, the more eggs you're gonna be able to put into your roux. And this is the eggs which make it light and fluffy. This is what you wanna take it from one side and kind of pull it back like That's this great. to really dry it out. And this you wanna do on a lower heat. So, Josiah, would you like to finish off the, the pâte à choux? Yes, I'll do Can that. Can you do that for I'll me? Do that for you. So you want to put the eggs in one by one, slowly incorporate it in. Otherwise, it won't come out as light. A good hint is when you add the eggs in, slow down the mixer a little bit so it doesn't throw it, splash everywhere on you. For the chocolate sauce, here we have some 72% bitter chocolate. You know, I'm really impressed with the way, you know, just being in America for so short a time, and you're already using the San Francisco chocolate. I don't know whether you knew, but it's made in San Francisco, but the owner of this chocolate company is actually a French guy. So, in this pan, we have a sugar syrup. This doesn't smell too British to me, doesn't it? It doesn't smell too British, no. A you lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. <laughs> you can tell that I've been around, you know. And in the sugar syrup, we have some orange zest, some lemon zest, some star anise, some clove, some allspice, and some cinnamon. That has been infusing in there for 30 minutes. So, to me, that looks pretty good. Looks good, nice so, and dry. Phil, I'm gonna take that from you, Josiah. Take this. Now, here we have this roux. That roux is beautifully cooked. It's nice and dry. Great job, Chef, thanks. Thank you. We're gonna put it into the, the mixer here, and we are gonna switch the mixer on, on slow speed, and we need to let it cool down. We need to let it cool down, because if I put these eggs in now, the eggs are gonna cook, and we don't want that to happen. The eggs need to cook once it goes into the fryer. In the meantime, Josiah, could you finish the sauce up for me, please? Yes, I would love to do that. So what you need to do is strain this beautiful aromatic syrup uh -huh. into the chocolate, the chocolate and stir it well. And in the meantime, I am gonna hide the beignet. We have the mixture here falling down. I have a mixture which I made earlier. Put in a piping bag. And here I have about a five inch piece of wax paper, which is lightly buttered. So I am just gonna pipe out in a spiral shape. And then I'm gonna place that in the fryer. Dough side down. I know this, you're thinking, that looks like a churros. But it's not a Mexican style churros. It's actually more of a Spanish-style churros. Again, blending cultures, we're calling it a French beignet, but I have piped that out very much like a churros. It's funny you say that, because I grew up on the other side of the world from you, and I grew up eating, you know, churros from Mexico. Yeah. The long, straight ones and the cinnamon sugar. So, you know, two sides of the world, that's that it. we're yeah, the I, same thing. You know, guys, the great thing in the kitchen, you know, we can be from England, from France, from the United States, from Asia, but we all speak the same language, and that language is passion, you know? Back in the fryer, what happens is the paper just slides off. So we get rid of the paper with some tongs, and then we turn over the beignet. Look how good that looks, nice and golden brown. So we're gonna leave it there for a couple more minutes. Sauce is looking nice here. Is it good? So, let me give this a little taste. Yeah. So the only thing we're missing for this sauce is a touch of cream. Okay. A little bit like putting the butter in a lot of your sauces at the end. That cream is oh, just nice. going to, how does that taste? That tastes really good. It's good. The spice is a really nice touch. I mean, it's subtle. It's subtle, but it's there. So the cream really is going to make it just finish it off. It's just going to be beautiful. Look at those. Look how beautiful they look. So I'm just going to let them drain very quickly. Then I'm going to gently take them out of the fryer and put them on this bed of cinnamon sugar. It's just, just regular sugar mixed with a little bit of grand cinnamon. And that's pretty much it. We're almost done. Dude, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry, too. You know, market, cooking, and yeah, now it's time to eat. That's it. Here we have a beautiful homemade cream gelato, and in French, creme glacée. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop so, some ice cream into this glass, squish it down in the glass like that. Beautiful. And then, would you like to put some chocolate sauce oh, on I top love of that, that for I me? I love that. 
Just flood it up all the way with chocolate all the way sauce. Up. Oh, all the way nice, up. Nice, nice. Look Beautiful. how delicious that looks. So there we'll put the chocolate sauce with the ice nice. cream. A little bit of cinnamon stick on top. Yeah, nice. A little bit of cinnamon here on the plate. And look at these delicious beignets. So light and beautiful. So there we have it to finish off this great day. I mean, we've had fun, fun. Today's been a great day. Now we get to eat it. That's the best part. The That's best, the best part of the day. You know what? A glass Size of wine. In. A glass of wine. You said it. good to me. You said it. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Chef. Cheers. Cheers.